Singles fly Saturday. Hi everyone, welcome to Single Slide Saturday, where I take uh, 10 minutes and see what I can find on one slide. Today I'm going to try something a little bit different. Instead of uh, taking clips of highlights and putting them together in a video, I thought we would look together at a slide that I haven't looked at before, just to get an idea of what it is I run into as I put my water samples on a slide. What you're looking at is a, a piece of root from a floating plant I collected at a, a fishing pond about a half an hour away here in Bangkok. And just to give you an idea of scale, the field of view that you're looking at, the width is about three millimeters, uh, th maybe three and a half millimeters, and the height is two millimeters. So let's take a look around. And as I see something, I'll point it out and explain what we're looking at. And there are quite a few rotifers. You see some of them right here. There's one right in the middle attached. Now he just swam away. Uh, rotifers are micro animals that have about 1,000 cells each. And there are a lot of different species of rotifer. They're, they're quite amazing. Here, it looks like we have a Colotheca in a tube, but it's not such a great view. So we'll continue scrolling down. Ah, there we go. That, this is cool. So underneath this root, you see uh, bryozoans. And bryozoans are very large colonial microscopic animals. And I, I've been finding quite a few of them in my samples that I get from this fishing pond. So it seems like it's a, a very good environment for them. Unfortunately, these look like they're tucked into their sleeves. I recently published a video that has some great views of Bryzoans, and I'll put it, a link to that in the description. Make sure to take a look. Let's see what else we have here. So you'll see a lot of these green crescents. I'm going to zoom in and I'll show you. So these green crescents are desmids, desmid algae, and in particular, these are called clostarium. What's really cool about clostarium is something that baffles scientists. In the tips of the clostarium, I'm gonna zoom in and just give me a second to get to the right brightness. What's really cool is if you look at the tips, you'll see these little crystals that are dancing around. You can see them, I'll put an arrow pointing to them. These are barium sulfate crystals that clostarium pulls from the water column. Scientists have absolutely no idea what their purpose is. And they're absolutely beautiful desmid algae clostarium. And, and they're not all exactly crescent shaped. They come in, in many species. Let's zoom back out and go back into dark field and turn that light up. Let's see what else we can run into here. Oh, let's center my dark field patch. So again, there are, there are quite a few worms. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> right in the middle, this is Colotheca. This is my absolute favorite rotifer. And you can see that it's living in a, a tube that it's built itself probably out of its own secretions and material that it finds in the environment. And what's really cool about these guys is when they, when they come out to feed, you see those bluish tips. I'm going to zoom in. These are their, their coronal lobes. And they're covered with these really fine hairs, fine cilia, that can go out quite a distance. And it's hard to see in dark field. So if you'll bear with me just for a moment, I am going to switch to a completely different type of lighting called phase contrast. And that should do it. And hopefully, if I can get in focus and find this guy. Okay, he's tucked away inside and hopefully he's going to come out in a moment. 
and you'll see the the really fine hairs that'll be dark against this gray background. Unfortunately, these worms and rotifers keep knocking into it, and it causes it to retract. So I don't know that we're going to get to see this. I don't really want to sit here and use up all our time. You can kind of, kind of see the hairs inside, but it's not a good view. So I'll tell you what, I'll mark where it is. And if we have time before we finish, we'll come back. For now, let's go back to our dark field. Right here, cut that light back and keep looking. Yeah, he's tucked away now, unfortunately. He got a little bit trampled by some worms and doesn't want to play. So there's, in the middle now, it's not the greatest view, a heliozoan. And a, so this heliozoan is an amoeboid, spherical single cell organism. And they have these, uh, it looks like uh, rigid hair is sticking out of them, but it's really axopodia. It's part of their, their cellular material that sticks out. It's very sticky. And this is how they trap and then consume microorganisms, usually single cell organisms, uh, algae. But sometimes I've seen rotifers or, or other larger uh, micro animals get sucked in. Uh, let's go back out. Got about three minutes left on the timer. Let's see what we can find. I don't know what... That looks like the rear end of a worm. Yeah, it is. So that, that was a worm. Uh, you see a lot of attached uh, single cell organisms, like the one facing down from the middle. Very common in these water samples to have a lot of attached organisms and animals. Oh, this is great. So this is a colony of rotifers, and I won't be able to identify exactly what they are, but they could be a species of, of Sinantharina. Uh, I find Sinantharina socialis quite a bit in my samples here in Thailand. Uh, let's make that a little more contrasty. And I have a video that I'll link in the description showing how a new colony forms literally minutes after these rotifers are born. And it's one of the coolest things I've had the fortune to film. It's almost, it's not almost, it's, it's that they know what they're supposed to do. They seek each other out and grab each other by their tails. And it's absolutely amazing to see. What else do we have over here? There's something inside a rotifer shell. Looks like it had been feeding on a dead rotifer. More rotifers and more worms. More clusterium. There's more worms along this route. And you can see the worms actually create tubes or live inside tubes themselves. There is a nice little colony of, of paratrix on a non-contractile st uh, stalk. Oh, this is, I, I never know what this is inside, but I see this quite often. So this is the shell of a, of a, of a rotifer. The rotifer is no longer there. And it's something that has gotten inside it and is probably feeding on the inside. If anyone knows what this organism is, I'd love to know. So as we run to the end of our time, I'd just like to say thank you for, for joining me on this adventure today. Uh, leave me a note in the comments and tell me what you think of this format. I can do this every once in a while. Uh, and I plan to have live events as well, where we can actually chat in person as I go through these slides. Also, remember to check the description. I'll put videos for most of the organisms that you've seen here today. And finally, uh, if you care to, please subscribe. I'd love you to, to see more of my stuff as I put it out. Thanks for joining Single Slide Saturday. <laughs>